next guest from MTV in the films Anaconda and The Crossing Guard with Jack Nicholson. She now co-stars on the Sci-Fi Channel's most popular show, Sliders, and just released her first CD, Shiny. Please welcome Kari Wurr. to contrast the energy with which you came out to Stephen Wright. I figured it wasn't a difficult act to follow. No, no, we have... Wait, I gotta do the mic thing. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. I meant energy-wise. Energy-wise. We talked yeah. about this before. He knows I just can't stand him. Are you retiring? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I love him. No, really, I do. <laughs> I asked him if, like... If you just won in six years most awkward start to an interview, I think. I'm sorry, but, you know, we had the whole, well, you know, he was really getting me excited backstage, and it's kind of, we're in a big fight right now, aren't we? Tony? You have, like, eight personalities, don't you? I know, psychotic. Yeah, you hated him, you wanted him to retire, and he excited you backstage. No, all right, see, he's always saying that this is his last appearance, he's going to retire. It's like your joke, I was, right? Yeah, I was chitting with the he's makeup like the Michael woman. Jordan of I was just... Chatting with the woman there. And I said, you've been on the show like 500 times. Do they have like a cake for you once a year or something? And I'm not funny, huh? <laughs> yes, you are. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I had to scream about you on the plane. Okay, okay you had to dream about me on the plane. Yeah, because I had to fly the red eye and I was really dead tired. And I fell asleep and I had this dream. Ring, right? I was a little nervous, because, you know... Is that what you do as you're going to sleep? <laughs> Am I like sleepy, guys? I was thinking of what, one of your, your comedy sketches that you and Andy do. Uh-huh. But anyway, I... Uh, love you. Um, so I had this dream... That was so sincere. That was great. <laughs> I had this dream, okay, that I was, I was really nervous about doing your show and everything. Gee, why? It seems to be going well. And I... <laughs> Disdain and no, disdain. Right, no, no, we're start just kidding. Already. All right, let's like get back in the beginning and like nothing happened yet. Okay. And okay. Hey, thank hey. you so much for having me. How are you? Good right. to see you. Okay. So I was having this dream. Right? You're having a dream? That's... Was I in it? Yes. Oh. It was a dream about us. Just let me finish really quick. And I dreamt that I gave you these Pez dispensers. And you said, why Pez dispensers? And I said, well, because you kind of remind me of like a Pez. I said they should the make... The candy or the dispenser? The dispenser, right? That makes sense. I have an yeah. old... No, it... Folks, in fairness, I have a large head, and my body contains candy. So... <laughs> it's only fair. Well, if you're gonna be a candy, I mean, you might as well be a Pez. Yeah. I mean, it's an interesting candy. Stuff comes out of your neck. Yeah, sure. Like, if I was a candy, I'd be like those... those little dots on the paper. You know, that you... <laughs> You know, like, what is that all about? Right, this idiocy. But well, wait, yeah. why would you be one of those candies, though? It's like an idiot candy. Hey, don't put an yourself down. No, oh, don't put yourself down. That's wrong. You'd be a nice candy, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's move on. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about, you were on Celebrity Jeopardy last week. I didn't see it. How did it go? Kind of like this. <laughs> really? Yeah, pretty much. So it didn't go well. Did you, did you prepare? Did you study for Celebrity Jeopardy? It was like the red light on top of the cameras reminded me of the Brady Bunch. And I just kept staring at it as Alex Trebek was talking to me. And I kept hearing Marsha go, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge. I was terrified. I'm terrified now. <laughs> if anyone at home is watching, get to a phone. Uh, the, uh, the episode, there's an episode where someone's scared. Duh, anyway. <laughs> yes. That was a joke. He's not a Nick at Night fan, I don't think. I got a duh for that? <laughs> oh, that was, ow, she's biting. Ow. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I should insult you more often. Uh, this you... is really close proximity, actually. That's not my real leg. <laughs> That's a prosthetic leg. I'm like dwarf on golf. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm just a head coming out of something right so, here. So, of course, your libido made you 6'4". You just set your prosthetic legs are really nice. 
Yes, yes. Very good. I'm going to be 6'4". I'm going to be a different species. <laughs> Next to me. <laughs> I feel like Terry Gar on acid right now, completely. <laughs> So you're on acid right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got you have a CD here. We got to talk about before we go. Thank you. Uh, shiny. Is this? Is, uh, are you doing? Uh, is this what you're promoting right now? That the, sh the CD. Yeah, like an encyclopedia salesman. I mean, it's been hard. It's been cool though. Like door to door, trying to get people to buy it. Cause Jump I'm... in any time, Stephen. Thanks, pal. <laughs> been sitting there for ten minutes. When not spoken is it, is to. Is it music or uh, is it like reading it's, yeah, or something? It's resuscitation. It's, uh, it's resuscitation? Yeah. <laughs> All right, when well, we're going to take. Down, gonna... We're going to take a break right now and uh, review the tape. <laughs> Baton Rouge! Baton Rouge! Baton Rouge! <laughs> so, uh, uh, Kari, you got to come back sometime. Because this may not have been television, but it sure was compelevision. <laughs> and that's what we go for here. We'll take a break. Call it word, but we'll be right back with Lick. Stick around.